All right, so we're going to show part of the apocalypse certification process for a vehicle. My check engine light was on, and um, that's because I disabled a lot of stuff under the hood, right? We've got a manual choke now, and I was testing to see if I had disconnected enough systems to see whether or not we could run with the computer unplugged, gone. Check it out. We are now EMP resistant. <laughs> no check engine light because I disengaged everything. Anyway, that's how we are EMP resistant. Uh, should I say how much money and time and energy I spent getting being able to accomplish this? Ooh, no, I'm not going to talk about that. It was a lot. Um, at least a lot for me. But this is the accomplishment of something, a, a dream, to have a very EMP uh, resistant vehicle that is not computer dependent. And uh, we got it done. It's, it's working. Uh, I'll show more details under the hood if somebody has questions. Uh, if somebody wants to buy a ignition control module for an Isuzu Trooper mid, uh, mid to late 80s module, <laughs> got one available, no longer need it. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'm going to do some test driving for about a week with this and make sure that we no longer need it to function. But uh, basically what I've done is return this to 1930s technology on the vehicle, which fortunately these were engineered to be able to do. And, uh, but we're done. That is no, uh, we, it's, it's, what's really neat is this was made to be a third world friendly vehicle where it doesn't self-sabotage when you when you go with computer disengagement which which i like i know it's a really short video uh, i've got a lot of other stuff in the series on this we're doing some other work on it it's it's going to be a special project and uh, you'll get to see more in the future but this is proof that uh, i've been able to decomputerize a 1980s japanese vehicle